Hey, God bless you guys out there in Jesus' name. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Ooh, camera out of control. Um, yeah, I just want to uh, bless you guys with uh, with a word from the Lord on um, rising higher in Jesus Christ. Um, and I have a prophetic dream as well that goes along with this. Um, about 13 years ago I had this dream and um, in this dream I am I'm with Jesus and I'm in this room and he's huge he's like 10 feet tall and I look over in the next room and I see this altar stone altar and it's just on the floor there and it's got stands around it like way above the altar and there's people in these stands and they're all Christians and they're throwing knives and rocks and shooting arrows at this altar and they're just throwing insults and calling all kinds of names just hating on this altar and uh i look at jesus and i said I, I i can't go through that and he doesn't say anything he just walks over into that room and he he uh lays down on the altar and he just takes all this abuse he takes all the abuse from these people and he does it with like complete peace like i look at his face and it's just nothing but peace he, he doesn't look upset he's not he's not bitter he's not mad he's just total peace and i said well jesus if you can do that then uh, i'll have to take your lead and uh and that was the dream and i believe that the lord is getting at something in this dream and what he's getting at is that we have to surrender to Jesus Christ even when even when your brothers and sisters are throwing all kinds of rocks at you for doing what Christ asks you to do I mean it says in the word to take up your cross and I believe that this altar represents the cross um, it says um, in uh, it says in Malachi it says, uh, sorry, just a sec here. It says in 317, And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in that day when I publicly recognize and open, openly declare them to be my jewels, my special possession, my peculiar treasure, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. And uh, I believe that the Lord, Jesus Christ, is calling his jewels to enter into him. I mean, it doesn't matter what your brothers are doing to you. It doesn't matter what your sisters are doing. It doesn't matter what the the conglomerate that calls itself a church is doing to you. What kind of names they're calling you. What kind of assumptions they're throwing your way. What kind of evil they're, they're saying about you. Because it says in the word of God, blessed are you when those, they call you evil for, uh, for my name's sake. And that's what's going on in the church. They don't want to take up their cross. They don't want to lay down these things on the altar that his jewels are laying down. They're laying it down. And here, here I'm going to go to Revelation chapter 11 here. And uh, here it says, uh, Then they said to me, You are to make a fresh prophecy concerning many peoples, races, nations, languages, and kings. That's chapter 10 going on to 11 it says a reed was then given to me shaped like a staff and i was told rise up and measure the sanctuary of god and the altar and number those who worship there but leave out of your measuring the court outside the sanctuary of god omit that for it is given over to the gentiles and they shall trample the holy sitter under city underfoot for 42 months three and one half years and what what is he even talking about there i believe He's talking about his jewels. They're in the inner sanctuary. They are with the altar that Jesus was laying on in my dream. He was laying on that altar. He calls his kids to do the same. Is, is he calling them just to live a life of complete misery and suffering? No, because when you look at Jesus' face in my dream, he had total peace. He was filled with joy, man. He was filled with the riches that come from the kingdom of God. And that's why he's calling his people to die to themselves because he's got better stuff for them. And when his children enter in, like the wise virgins did, and the foolish were left out, 
That's what it's getting at in Revelation chapter 11, what I just read here. It's talking about he's measuring the inner sanctuary with the altar because those are the people that laid their lives down on that altar for him. They died to what they needed to die to for Jesus Christ because that's where Jesus led them and they were able to enter in. What are they entering into? I don't know. Secret place of the Most High? Because it says, enter into your chambers and for a little while as the wrath passes by. These are all little hidden gems in the Bible that nobody picks up unless you got the Holy Spirit. And um, this is what the Lord's been revealing to me uh, lately. And I just pray that it would catch the right ears and people would listen and they would uh, be blessed by it because this is a blessing, not a curse. Unless you're not willing to listen to the Word of God, unless you're not willing to listen and take up your cross and die to those things like most of the church is doing today, throwing rocks, throwing knives, spiritual knives, backstabbing people, gaslighting them, calling them names, throwing every kind of assumption they can think of at them in the book. It's not going to end up well because they're not going to enter in. It says in the Word of God, you will stand outside knocking and I'll say, I don't know you or where you came from. Get out of my sight because you did not listen to me. You attacked me. You attacked my people when you should have been joining them. So this is a, this is a word from the Lord. It's a prophetic dream God gave me. And uh, yeah, God bless you guys. Hope you have a great day.